Blessed day to you all. Thanks for viewing my channel. Today I'm making a small video here. I'm cleaning out my fish tank today. Actually my bait tank. So I'm washing out the barrel. I'm emptying out the residue in the barrel so the fish will get clean fresh water to live in because the tilapia in the barrel actually um, gives a lot of nitrogen and it kills the other species of fish that that are in the, bar the barrel so today I'm, I, I actually do this every two to three days actually so that the barrel is clean so the fishes that are dead you clean it out the water don't stink and stuff like that so here we are I emptied it out in a basket we have an, some nice healthy fishes that survive for about um, a month now or so growing in the barrel of course I had more but um, I've been taking out every time I go to fish so here we have in, um, some tilapias some silver bait some hassa they call it um, armored armored catfish around the world I think and they have some long tail hassa there and in Guyana we have our own name given to these sort of fish so yes I'm having a shrimp there and there we go it's some ohasa tilapias nice fish here I'm cleaning out uh, 80 gallon plastic barrel to put uh, actually to do a new mixing of um, hydroponic fertilizer to feed the plants manually with a water can I had to clean this really good because they have a lot of residue of um, salts that were left there and backed up in the barrel, a lot of flakes, so I had to spray it out properly. And I place it at the backyard where I have my beds here to water the plants. Here I'm filling up the barrel to receive the fertilizer which I'll mix later on, the barrel is full. Uh, this here like I mentioned is a 80 gallon barrel these are 60 gallon barrels I use these for a gravity flow drip system here I am preparing to mix the fertilizer for the plants in that same 80 gallon barrel so um, it's 5 ml per gallon so if you multiply that by 80 gallons you'll get 400 grams so I have this measuring cup that I've been using for quite a long time. Now it's clearly but I measure 400 grams there in the mug. And I'm throwing it into a bigger mug because I'm going to mix all three fertilizer, three part fertilizer. So I'm going to mix it in a bigger mug. So That's it. Uh, next, the fertilizer is in there. Next, we're going to go on to the next fertilizer which is the magnesium sulfate we call it Epsom salts very small amount like quarter amount like about one gram or so per gallon that is to give greenness and hotness to pepper give out a nice look in your plant make it green and healthy now this is a fertilizer I just throw there which is nourish it's available in the country a lot so I buy this it's chelated my it have micronutrients chlorine free and it's a foliar fertilizer it comes with all micronutrients it's triple 20 as you can see it's 20 20 20 is very even balanced fertilizer so we have um, we're gonna have 20 percent of nitrogen we're gonna have 20 percent of phosphorus and 20 percent 20 percent of potassium also so it's a well balanced plus we have our micronutrients zinc copper boron and molybdenum 
here is a neck here is the calcium nitrate this is a flaky type that I bought lately so I'm gonna measure 400 grams of this also so it's 400 triple 20 water soluble foliar fertilizer and 400 grams calcium nitrate those are measured evenly only the magnesium sulfate is measured like in small portion about one to two percent of the other fertilizer you don't need that in in abundance so there we are we mix it in all three into one mug normally I would mix it one at a time but it's not necessary at this point I've been doing this for years so I know it well so here I am at the barrel that I just full up and I'm gonna mix using the water in the bar because if I throw, use water in the mug before the barrel I'll be adding to that 80 gallons so I don't want to add more water or water content than what is prescribed to mix the fertilizer so I'm gonna take water from the 80 gallon barrel and mix up the fertilizer with my hand make sure it's all melted in As you can see the water is getting blue, we, we normally would call it blue tricks in, in, in Guyana also, some people call it blue tricks, but the right name is Nourish, that's the brand name. So here I am, nice clean water, it's mixed up very good, very well. Here I'm throwing it, in. as you can see it's blending into the clear water, it's going to become blue after a while actually when, when it's mixed properly it goes down and then it comes up and turn the whole water blue so you know that the water is mixed very well with the fertilizer every corner every inch of it so here I am completing the mixture that's how it looks and there we go set up dip and mixed up very good make sure it's mixed all good and there it is <clears throat> I'm now having eight, 80 gallons of plant food to feed my plants I make them grow healthy and strong hope you can follow that and make your plants grow as well as mine here this is a different type of calcium nitrate I have also this is a, a full out uh, hydroponic fertilizer I've been using for years the 51126 this is a different type it comes with all micronutrients this here grow anything this can grow I love this fertilizer I've been keeping it for hard times so I've been using the one that is more abundant thing in my country to purchase this is a custom blend water soluble fertilizer come from the company plant food Inc. this here is potassium nitrate is 60 percent potassium nitrate very high in potassium I use this at the flowering stage in my fruiting crops like peppers and balanje eggplant and tomatoes I use in small portion like uh, 5 ml per 2 gallons or so or even less because the, the fruit tend to run water I don't want that because it's high very high in potassium it's good for fruiting crops so I keep that that's why I have a lot remaining I don't use it much it's also water soluble by the way here is the next one of my favorite hydroponic fertilizer it's from plant prod company this is 71127 this is an excellent fertilizer I've done I've tried this in, in uh, NFT systems and all my plants grew very well the kale did very well I'm reserving this fertilizer for hard times also because I can't get this back in my country so I love this fertilizer it's great production thank you for watching